Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a cheap little two button foot switch, momentary foot switch that you can get to get two extra buttons to control some of your gear. Specifically, I'm gonna use this with the HX Stomp today, but it's a good way to get two extra buttons out of something, especially like the HX Stomp where you only get three buttons in general, but you can use this with like some Eventide stuff or a Helix or stuff like that, anything that you need two extra buttons for. If you've seen some of my other videos, almost all of my HX Stomp videos that I've done, I've used this guy. This is the Mission Engineering TT2 pedal. Long story short, the reason why I'm making this video on this one instead of this one, this one is $60, this one's $20. So I'm trying to see which one will be right for you. There are differences between the two. So some of you will need this one as opposed to this one, but I figured I would do a video checking out some cheap gear so you can see which one is right for you. So before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff about finding cheap gear for musicians on Amazon, HX stomp videos, wireless, in-ear monitors, mini programming, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is the Ampero Switch Momentary Foot Switch or the Hot One. This is only $20 on Amazon, which is the cheapest one that I could find. There were other ones that were 25 bucks and 30 bucks, but this was the cheapest one one that I could find. Hey, it's me from the future. So I just realized at the end of editing all of this together that I've been saying the hot one and the Ampero is the company, but it's actually hot tone is the company and the pedal is Ampero and they have a whole series of amps and this is a foot switch that goes with it. So throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to call it the wrong thing, but the company is hot tone and the pedal is the Ampero foot switch. Go me. So when you get the box, you get three things. You get the momentary foot switch. You get a TRS cable, which is really nice, actually, because I had to buy a separate one when I got my TT2 pedal, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Something else that's actually really nice that they include is they include a little bit of Velcro that's the right size so that you can Velcro this to your pedal board if you want to. Really cool that you get all of that for $20. Very, very cool setup. And also, there are no batteries needed for this, or the TT2 is completely passive. You don't need any power or batteries to run it. Okay, so for demoing this, like I said, I'm going to be demoing this with the HX Stomp. So the HX Stomp only has the three buttons. With this, I get an extra two buttons. So on the top, you have the expression input right here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in one side right there. And the other end is going to go right here. It's just a little detail, but the fact that this is a right angle cable makes me so happy because it just makes it easier to fit. And the cable is pretty long if you do need to arrange it slightly differently on like a pedal board or something like that. But this is actually the setup that I use when I do gigs is I just do... HX stomp and two extra foot switches. And now I have this setup is that I use this button as a boost for solos. And then I've assigned this to be my tuner and tap tempo. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to assign this in here. I'm going to dim the lights a little bit so it's easier to see. So it's pretty simple to do on the HX stomp actually. So first of all, you have to go into your global settings to change some settings in here. Push these two buttons, scroll over, go to your global settings and they go to foot switches right here. So we have foot switch one, two, three, and now we have foot switch four and five. That's what these are assigned to. So what do you want stomp four or foot switch four to act as? You can set it as always this tap tuner. You can set it to stomp four, bank. You can set it to always be bank up or bank down, preset up, preset down, snapshot up or snapshot down, foot switch mode so you can scroll through the different modes which is really nice so you have different options there which is really cool i'm going to leave that on stomp four and then tap number five is always going to be the tap and the tempo that's the way i personally have it set up so for example if i want to assign my my eq and i want to turn it on and off i can i'm going to push these two buttons go to bypass assign and then what switch now i can set it to foot switch four right now and you can see it turns on and off the other option that you have and this is always nice about the HX Stomp, is so you can pan over and you can say learn. You can say, what button do you want to change this? Push the button, and it figured out foot switch four is going to turn this on or off. So that's how you would assign something in the HX Stomp using this. So using different gear, you might have to look through your different manuals, but that's how you do it specifically in the HX Stomp. So again, you could sign this to always just be bank up. So see how it scrolls through the banks? When I push the button... You can assign it to be preset up or down. So it just goes up through the different presets. You can scroll through the different snapshots. One, two, three. Or you can set it specifically to stomp four, and then you can assign stomp four 
to whatever you would like. Again, by doing bypass assign to whichever one you would like to assign. So the plate reverb, I'll set that to four. And now you'll see the plate reverb turns on and off with the button. Make sense? I did do an entire video explaining how to assign all the different ways to assign parameters in the HX stomp. So check out that video if you'd want more information about that. All right, now for the battle between the two. So what's the difference between this cheap one and the one that I've recommended for countless videos? So first of all, you might notice that this just has a TRS switch. This one has t two switches. So this one, if you just plug into this input, it acts as a TRS input and you, and you get both buttons. Or you can get two TS cables and send to control like two separate effects or something like that. So if I wanted to control like an HX stomp and then an even tide or something like that, and I just wanted one button for the HX stomp and then get another cable for the even tide, that's a cool setup for this. You don't have that option with this one. This one is just a TRS and you get two foot switch with, with one cable. And again, that's what you get with this one. However, you do have the option here. There is a cable that you can get and I'll post the link for this in the description. It has TRS and then splits it off to the tip and ring. So it's TRS to two TS cables. So let's say you have two expression outputs. You would plug tip into expression output one and ring into expression output two and then plug the TRS cable into the hot one. So that would be a way to get two into one. You have that option. And now foot switch one will change whatever tip is plugged into and then foot switch two will change whatever ring is plugged into. So you have that option, but it really just depends. So like the HX stomp only has that one expression output. So you only get, you don't have two options. Or if you're trying to do like what I said, where you have one plugged into your HX stomp and then one plugged into another pedal or something like that, you might run into issues with that. But this option does exist if you do specifically need two TS cables to go into this one TRS input. Size-wise, they're almost the exact same. The TT2 is a tiny bit smaller. You can see they're just about the same width and then height wise, they're almost the exact same. So there's not a huge difference there. I really do like that this one comes with the TRS cable as well as that Velcro. So for me, the main reason you would want to get this is if you need the two TS inputs but they're both gonna work great. Okay, so who wins? Specifically, especially for the HX Stomp, the hot one wins. I mean, it's a third the price, you get the cable that goes with it, and you get some Velcro that goes with it, and it works great. I am gonna talk about my experience with it here in a second, but I mean, you just, you can't beat that price. That's just my opinion for the HX Stomp, 20 bucks versus $60 for something that works just as well, and that's definitely the winner. But I do wanna talk about my experience with it. Okay, so like I said, I've been using the TT2 forever, but I did switch over to this one to test it out before I did this video, because I always wanna make sure that I test out my gear before I do a video on it. I was able to take this to two dates in Florida. We played in Orlando at the Hard Rock and then we played in Miami. I took this specifically for a travel gig so that I could be a little more rough with it. They both feel really solid, so I don't know if that would be a huge difference between the two. But I did want to kind of abuse this one a little bit just to see how it would stand up because this one's always been really solid for me. And it worked great. I didn't have any problems with it. It literally just, you plug in and you're ready to go. And that's it. There was no reconfiguring or anything like that. It worked great the whole time. Buttons still work. I've had no problems with it. So it's worked great. There's no complaints from me about it. And that Miami gig, we got to play on a boat. So I was. Uh, it was super cool, actually. But I specifically used all of my cheaper gear, including like my cheap wireless and stuff like that, because I didn't know if it was going to like rain since we were on top of a boat. But it, it held up completely fine. I had zero problems with it. All right, so which of these would I go with? It really depends on your setup. Personally... For the HX stomp, I think this is definitely a good one because you only get one expression input in your HX stomp. So this is perfect. You're not going to need the two inputs that the TT2 gives you. This one clicks. You can hear it click. Can you hear that? And then this one doesn't have that click sound. So it, is, it does feel like it's a little bit cheaper, but overall, I mean, the difference is, is that you're spending $20 to get this with some Velcro and the cable. This one is 60 with no Velcro and no cable. So you do have to spend a little more to get that TRS cable or a TS cable to fit your setup. Personally, I'm gonna keep using this one because I have it, but this one works completely fine and I don't think you're gonna have a problem using this one at all. For $20, this is an absolute steal. This is the cheapest one that I could find and it works amazing. So props to Ampero for making a good product that works well and is cheap. So I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys found this video helpful, just do me a favor and just hit the like button. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm, recommend my channel, blah, 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 all the stuff that YouTubers hate asking for, but it really does help. So I'd really appreciate it. Links are in the description down below if you are interested in purchasing either of these. 
They are Amazon affiliate links, so they are a free way to help out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, so I'd appreciate it. Check out some of my other videos. I've done videos on finding cheap gear for musicians. I've also done a ton of the HX Stomp videos if you're interested in more videos on how to get more out of your HX Stomp. So check out the playlist on your screen now. If you guys have any other cool, cheap gear you want me to check out, leave a comment down below. I'm always interested in checking some more gear out. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.